Tennessee's Central Basin resembles the Italian Alps about as much as Kevin Bacon looks like actual bacon. But on our drive through the Volunteer State, the Alfa Romeo crossover named for the continent's iconic mountain pass transported us instead to a different European motoring mecca. Running southwest out of Nashville, the 444-mile Natchez Trace Parkway plows a narrow squiggle through a verdant forest and conjures up a sort of meal and burger Remy. The way the manicure easement meets old growth oak, the way the asphalt never runs straight, the way one blind corner feeds into another, it all evokes the holy green hell. Mind the liquor class cyclists, dispatch with the dawdling sightseers, and ignore the 40 and 50 mph speed limits of the Natchez Trace, and the Alfa Romeo Stogon alights with verve. It steers with a steady linear effort. The brake pedal responds obediently to slight pressured modulation, and in general Alfa's brake by wire system felt more natural and better sorted this time around than it has in two sedans that we've driven. The Stogo doesn't drive small, it's slightly longer than the Audi Q5, the BMW X3, and the Mercedes-Benz GLC class but there is a precision to the controls that invites you to use more road, to corner closer to trees that crowd the driving line, and to drift nearer the drainage ditch at the pavement's edge. In this segment, only a Porsche Malkin inspires more confidence. The Stogo's dynamic virtues hold up when driven in more routine environs as well. This transmission is the rare automatic that doesn't race to upshift upon leaving the stoplight, even with the driving mode selector pointed at the default natural setting. Beyond the buttercream smooth parkway, both the 19 and 20 inch wheels calmly rolled over imperfections. Expand the brand. Alpha moved just 2,700 vehicles in America in the first five months of 2017. The brand's keepers hope to grow that number by moving beyond just building sporty vehicles for the enthusiast fringe expanding into the greener field where the masses of buyers have clustered, compact crossovers. The Stogo's measurements suggest tighter rear seat and cargo space than its competitors, although neither feels especially cramped. To keep Alpha's entry from being a meet-to-vehicle, the brand is applying technology in its own way. At Alpha Romeo, technology is more than a fancy radio and advanced driver assistance systems. Everybody is that, taunts Alpha boss Reed Bigland. The technology that Bigland boasts of, Every Stogo carries a carbon fiber drive shaft and enough aluminum that the new Alpha should undercut the BMW X3 by almost 100 pounds. The available performance package installs a helical limited slip differential between the rear wheels. To drive home the brand message, Alpha makes the driver thumb and engine start button mounted on the steering wheel. In Sport and T-Sport trims, massive column mounted aluminum shift paddle block the control storks. You're not going to use that turn signal without first executing for flawless downshifts, they insist. Everybody else also has a turbocharged 2.0 liter inline four paired with an 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive, all of which comes standard here. The variable valve lift engine is the strongman of the class, however, at 280 horses and 306 pounds feet of torque. Yet it's also a gentleman, revving smoothly with minimal turbo lag. Stelgo pricing starts from $42,990 for a nicely equipped car that includes 10-way power seats for both the driver and passenger, real leather many competitors use a synthetic material as standard 18-inch wheels, proximity key entry, remote start, adaptive headlights, rear parking sensors, a backup camera, and a power lift gate. The $2,000 step up to the T-trim adds heating to the front seats and the steering wheel, satellite radio, front parking sensors and an 8.8-inch infotainment display up from 6.5 inches in the base model. Sport variants, available in both base and T configurations, include pedal shifters, aluminum interior trim and pedals, larger wheels, painted brake calipers in red, black, or yellow and gloss black exterior trim. A couple of different driver assistance packages bring blind spot monitoring, auto dimming exterior mirrors, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning with automated emergency braking, Lane departure warning, and automatic high beams. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility will become standard equipment within a couple months of the Stogo's late June arrival, but the feature is unavailable in the initial batch of cars. While Maserati's remake has been assembled partially with Chrysler leftovers, Alpha gets its own premium feeling switch gear and a new infotainment system that is, at least for now, exclusive to the brand. The clean interior design can be accented with real aluminum, wood, or carbon fiber. At the same time, the designers didn't attempt to dress up some of the plastics, such as the untextured, flat finish trim that surrounds the unfortunate, ambiguous electronic shifter. And the coarse grain dash top might have been pilfered from the Ford Duras assembly plant. In the Stogo, the highs are high and the lows are low. The Italian question. 
you can extend that encapsulation to cover the entire Alfa Romeo brand. In our four separate tests, not a single fleet footage Leah has escaped our scrutiny without first lighting a check engine lamp, entering a limb home mode, or jamming its sunroof in the open position. And while we never needed to unpack the code reader we carried to Nashville, the Stallion illuminated a fault light for the auto stop start system less than two miles from the end of the drive. They can take Alfa Romeo out of Italy. But they haven't taken Italy out of Alfa Romeo.